The Whiskey Throttle Show, now available on the Spot Network, an independent standalone streaming platform live now on Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire, Google Play, Android TV, most smart TVs, and all phones and tablets. Look for future live shows and specials only available on Spot Network. Download the app today on your favorite device. Welcome back to the Whiskey Throttle Show. This is our sponsor spotlight segment. And we've got Jason Abbott here, brand ambassador for Senna, Bluetooth and wireless, mesh wireless systems. Jason, welcome. Yeah, Good to you. have you thank on, you. man. Yeah, I'm uh, happy to be here. I've been a listener for a long time, so it's uh, it's actually cool to be on this side of it. Yeah, a little different on this side of the desk, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. A little, little brighter lights. Um, I, I'm stoked to talk to you today. This is These guys came on this year, and uh, I, I absolutely love these products. Before... I even really knew what they were. I had one in my street bike helmet. Mm-hmm. And um, so I have been blown away with that thing. I can take calls on it while I'm riding, and people have no idea. They're like, oh, where you at? I'm like, I'm cruising down the freeway right now at like 90. Yep. Really? You sound clear. I'm like, I know it's wild, and then I'll listen to music, and just, I love it. So uh, when we started talking with them, I said, man, I'm, I'm sold on it for the application I've been using. What else can we do with this thing? And um, we started talking about just, first of all, the fun factor. You know, Troy's got him in some mountain bike helmets, and we did a ride where we're just laughing and giggling, you know, Troy's ridiculous laugh, <laughs> while we're riding, you know. And it made it so much more fun. Yeah. And I thought, I, I haven't done this yet, but like a dual sport ride with a handful of guys or a, a trail ride, what a, just it's a whole other level of fun because you, you could be talking crap, you can be giving them good, hey, man, heads up, there's a drop, or, you know, it's just there's so many... Uh, practical applications for it. Yeah, the the fun factor, the safety factor. I think those are two of the the big the big pieces to the puzzle with with this unit. Um, you know, Senna. I've been using the, the product for a long time with the street bike stuff, just like you. You know, taking calls and and doing all that. Once we move into dirt, you know, it it are uh, it's been you know really really fun. Um, you know being able to talk to all of our friends while we're on the trail because road is very consistent, Mm -hmm. right? And, you know, other than the safety part of the road, you know, and the more, more fun on the road, the off-road part I think is even better. Um, You know, you can wrap with your buddies and, and, you know, the hazard part of things where you're like, Hey, there's a huge boulder on the inside of this next right hander, or, or, Hey, there's a huge hole in the ground or, Oh, Mm -hmm. there's a, there's a, burnt up car on the side of the road or whatever um you can let those guys know behind you and it just makes the ride uh safer but then also um it's a lot more seamless you don't have to stop every so yeah. often and go oh hey what do you think we're gonna go this way we're gonna go that way it's a continuous ride and it, yeah. it just makes it again more fun well and if you've ever been on a trail ride and you're the guy in the back like, i don't know about you i'm always worried about man i hope i don't crash or break down and these guys just disappear right you know um you could you could very easily just go, oh, hey guys, I got a problem. Hold up, yep. you know, or hey, we need to pull over here. I got to do something. So there, there's so many applications for it. The safety side of it is a no-brainer to me. Whether you're a dad watching your kid ride on the track, whether you are a, to me even in in racing, if you're a, a a dad or a team manager or a mechanic watching, there's so many times I've seen where man, if, if they could communicate with him, you could have prevented this. Exactly, uh, exactly, and that's that's what I've been using with my son is in the, in the safety part is huge on the track. And so that's what I'm really kind of trying to, to show is the safety part on the track, the dual sport, but the track part is, is huge because if there's a kid laying on the downside of a jump or say, you know, there's something, there's something that happened, you can let them know. So I've been working with my son a bunch. Um, he's only 10. Um, we're racing 65 class for the motor for kids racing. Um, we've been doing a bunch of that and, and we've been using the units for a while and it's been, an, it's been, a lot of fun talking to him, at, uh, you know, while he's on the bike mm-hmm. and you can kind of ask him, Hey, what's going on? How do you feel? Um, yeah. And inf- increase fun, but then also the safety part too, yeah. you know, just always cause you, yeah, you see somebody crash and you're like, Oh my gosh, he doesn't know they're, they're, you know, down. Yeah. So yeah, it's been, it's been big. And you know, they talk about in, in racing circles, well, we, we can't do this. It's going to be a distraction to the rider. I don't, it doesn't distract me. No. Um, I've never had an instance where I'm like, oh, they said something and I make a mistake. It's like, I'm focused on what I'm doing. It, sometimes I'll hear the noise and I'll be like, wait, what was that? You know, but right. it never distracts me where it's going to cause a mistake or something. I, I think that's bullshit. 
Yeah, the the distraction part, uh, I don't really get that either. Um, but I, I do I do believe that the other parts are outweigh uh, what any distraction could be by yeah. using it for sure. Absolutely. And if you're if you're a coach, um, so we, we just ordered a headset. I was telling you earlier, um, it's just a headset, kind of like what you see here, that can can communicate with the system. It's a 50s in my helmet, mm -hmm. and we're going to use it, start using it at Vital MX when we're shooting um, bike tests. Because what, what ends up happening is Brad, my video guy, he'll, he'll be, want me to hit a turn. Hey, hit this two more times, but go, go inside the first time, outside the second time. But he's got to like flag me down. I got to mm -hmm. ride over. What, what is it? Oh, okay. Where I said, man, what are we doing? <laughs> Let's work smarter here. You hit a button, go, hey, give me that two more times, once inside, once outside. Yep. Boom, we're done. So it's going to make it so much uh, just a a seamless, easy uh, transition for us to do that with and Vital. That's what we're doing with, with my son is I have the headset. Uh, we're on a Mesh 2.0 system. Um, so basically, you just hit the button and you're connected live the whole time. You don't have to, you know, walkie-talkie right. thing. Um, so so having the headset while I'm working with my son, he has a 50R on his helmet, and then I have a headset. But when we ride, um, we'll have both have 50Rs. That's kind of my favorite right now mm. is just because of how how small it is and compact and then it has all the all the new features yeah. hd speakers and all that you know it's not heavy right no, you don't no. feel that i think some people are worried about the weight of it or something you don't feel it or notice it no. tell me about uh some of the other applications obviously there's dual sport adventure riding mm -hmm. where else could people use this where they they don't know they need it yeah i mean dual sport adventure um you know, snowmobiling there's, there's oh yeah snowmobiling you could definitely use it um but but even you know bicycles um mm -hmm. mountain biking road biking um you know there's snowboard helmet uh mm -hmm. helmets with with uh, the speakers from them with the snowboard helmets um skate you know so there is a pretty much any of the application you can think of um they're they're having products um you know for that which is which is really neat. I Anything mean, with a helmet, right? I yeah, guess. Yeah, I mean, because that because they actually have their own street bike helmet. You know, I went into the office the other day, and I mean, literally, they had every kind of helmet, and it was already you know Stuff integrated in, into yeah. it. You know, Showy has a big thing with them. You know, as well, where they come you know from the from the factory stock with them. So, yeah, it's a bit. It's uh, I think it's great. You know, as far as the technology, bringing technology and bringing. Um, you know, like I said, the safety and the communication and all that into what we've already always been. It's always been an individual kind of thing in your own in your own little bubble. But now everybody gets to kind of ride together, you know, yeah. you can just, you know, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. And it's it's a it's a real departure from anything you've ever done, because like you said, your whole life, once you pull that helmet on, you're alone. Mm -hmm. And which is nice. And sometimes you still may want to go have that ride with no distractions, but to be able to just connect and talk and chat with your buddies, yeah. it's super fun. Yeah. And it's, it's like I said, it's that fun. You didn't know you needed, but like it really, it really boosts it up. Exactly. Tell me a little bit about the different products. So there's, there's a, a Bluetooth connectivity, which is just two devices, right? Mm -hmm. There's also a mesh network so you can connect multiple devices. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's two generations of that. Yeah. So, so basically there's a lot of different products that Senna has, um, you know, from the 10, uh, the 20S, the 30K, the 50R, 50S. Um, there's a lot of different um, levels of product that they have. Um, but then also the connectivity, um, you originally it was just Bluetooth, mm -hmm. right? And so basically, um, if you were going to ride, say, with one other person, it was, it was very basic to connect just to one other person. So with the Bluetooth, if you ride with, you know, say, three, four, or five people, it becomes a, this connective chain, right? And, and that might take a little time. But with the new Mesh, um, it's actually Mesh, mesh 2.0 now, you, be, you hit the button, and everybody's on the same channel or same live channel. So whether you're on channel one or two or three, I think it goes up to nine you can be on your own individual channel. It's all live and it's literally one push of the button and everybody's together. So what they've done with the Mesh 2.0, just make it simpler to connect everybody and it and it just makes it more fun, yeah. you know, cause you're not messing around trying to connect everybody with Bluetooth. Um, the Bluetooth actually, the the, um, the communication through that is, is still very, very good, but um, the Mesh 2.0 is I think the future for me. Next level. Yeah. 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 And, and what are the limitations to it? Obviously you can't be miles and miles away, but um, sort of what are the limitations for how this thing will work? Yeah. So, so if you are in the chain, so basically 
I think it's up to like a mile you can be um, connected to somebody, right? But if that next person has somebody behind them and then they have somebody behind them, you technically ha could have a long range mm -hmm. of, of uh, connectivity. Um, so basically, you know, it just all makes, makes, uh, it makes it sen makes sense basically because you go, unless you go behind, say, a big mountain, right? Um, it's all gonna, they're all going to stay in line. And then if you do go behind a big mountain, when you have the clear path again, it reconnects. Okay. So the, so the mesh 2.0 is, is, you know, like I said, it's a game changer for this, for this whole setup. And I, I really, really like it. Yeah. And for a motocross track, maybe there's a hill, but like, it's probably nothing big enough that's going to block no. transmission, huh? No, no. It, we were, uh, we just went out to, uh, Paris Raceway for Tuesday mini night with my son. Um, and you know, we were using around the track and, you know, working on corners. Like, um, he's out there on the other side of the track. I'm like, hey, go on the inside of this one and just stay on the gas and try and huck over this next table. So what does he do? He does it. Bam. And before then, he was just kind of floating around. But mm. that being able to talk to him right then and there and, and actually say, hey, this thing that you're doing right now, try this. Man, it, we've seen a big, big acceleration in kind of the lear learning curve. Um, you know, again, my son's only 10, but in the in the time that we've used this the system, it's definitely made a difference in, in kind of his skill and how he attacks the track. Mm -hmm. so. Well, it's a no-brainer. I mean, f even for the rider to be able to, if they have to ride back to you, get the feedback, you're trying to explain where it is on the track and what they're doing, then they got to go all the way back over there to do it. You're gonna lose, of, yeah. You're gonna lose something. Yeah. Where if you can just say it, hey, that turn right there, do yeah. do this like you did. It's like they just do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So huge, um, huge advantage. What? Why do you think, in your opinion, in racing, why have they not made this legal? Uh, it's hard to say. I mean, maybe maybe they're thinking like the guy's gonna be like, oh, the guy's gonna go on the inside of you, cut him off. But honestly, I think that racers are so forward focused that that if somebody's going to try and tell them what to do while they're on the track racing it, it's, you, you it's, can't it's, communicate that quickly. No, no, yeah. no. So, so I, I really would like to see it. I think it would be for the safety of the riders. I think it would be a huge deal. Um, you know, say somebody did go down on the backside, right? Mm -hmm. The officials could come in and, and be online, online with everybody. Be like, Hey, rider down, rider down at this corner. Boom. Yeah, then you don't have any uh, added incidences to well, that. We're always talking about how do we how do we improve this red flag situation or red cross flag situation when when there's a bad crash or it's in a blind spot. Here's your answer. It's pretty obvious. Yeah, that's it's the answer. You know, in my opinion, and you know, it's lightweight. Like you said, we don't feel it. You don't even know that it's there. But when the communication comes across, it out outweighs anything else. Yeah, I absolutely. mean, that, it's a huge importance. And, you know, the, the, other, the other argument is that, well, privateers can't afford it, so we need it to be fair. We don't want this to be an additional perk for the only factory riders have. What's your, what's your thought there? I mean, for what you're getting, the price that you're paying is, is, uh, is not that bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? What is, and, what is an entry-level unit for this cost? So, so like, let's say you're doing two units or, or a guy wanted one on his helmet and a headset. So that cost a guy. So say like you do the 50R, um, it, there's they sell two packs. Um, I think those are going for what is it around 500, and then you have the other headset that we were talking about, um, and then that one I think those start at like 200 bucks. Mm. So you know what I mean, and and you can get them online in different places, and different places you know might have you know better pricing, um, but you know it is a little bit of an investment, but I think that. You know, if you're u using it for training, um, you are going to see the benefits. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're using it, say, for what you are for photo shoots and video shoots and stuff like that, oh, of course. You know, there's so many benefits um, to the system and, and using it in uh, racing and training, motocross, adventure, you know, everything, dual sport, everything that, that, you know, once you go and you buy it and you use it the first time, it kind of... The, yeah, that that cost factor goes <laughs> yeah, out the door. You're like worth every penny right it, away. Yeah. It just changes it because I I've been on the other side of it to where we used it for the first time in a street bike ride and we rode together for years, right? And it was always hand gestures, whatever, just like you were talking about. Mm -hmm. And the first time we were all all of us were online, we we're looking at each other, like, are you kidding me? 
like we're going to be able to talk to each other, yeah. you know, and it completely changed the, the on-road experience. Now that we're using them off-road, man, I wish I would have done the off-road stuff sooner. Yeah. I just didn't, right? You don't, you don't think, oh, I'm going to put one of these on my dirt bike helmet because not, not, nobody really does it. Yeah. Right. It's usually a street bike or adventure. Yeah. But man, the dirt bike side of it, I think is even, even cooler. I think I think it's more fun because yeah. there's more to talk about. There's yeah. more to like. You yeah, know you're what not I mean? there's stuck more to it. away. Yeah. Like you're literally, oh, I'm gonna get you. You yeah. know, we're going like this, and then here, let's do this over the jump. You know, like, I don't know. It off road is just way more fun. Yeah, I I completely agree. Um, so where can people go here? What's the websites? Senna dot com. Yeah, so go to Senna's website, um, and basically you can kind of check out their whole their whole line of stuff. They have a YouTube channel with with a bunch of different videos. Um, of of different people in different situations using the helmets uh the units in their helmets and then their actual helmets as well um you know so you kind of you can kind of get a good grasp for what you're looking for i mean if you want a very simple unit you get a 10 if you want like all the all the bells and whistles you go for like you know the newer one so it's uh yeah, you can. You know, another uh, really good application, and Langston was telling me about this because he sells a lot of side by sides. Mm. If you're out in a side by side with your family, yeah, h- how easy do you think it is to scream at each other and talk? Oh, it's a pain. You, I mean, it's almost impossible. Yeah, it's too yeah. loud. You got everybody's got helmets on. You can't really turn around and get to them. This allows everybody in the family to just yeah. talk, and you, and it's just conversational volume. It's like this. You're just talking like normal. And you, you know, the driver doesn't have to turn around, yeah. right? You're not like in this awkward deal because you can't turn around when you have harnesses on, yeah. right? So you're you have the mirrors, and then you have the talking by everybody else. And if somebody, hey, I need to go to the bathroom, or hey, let's go get some food, or hey, let's climb that hill, yeah, again, you know, the the side by side thing is something we haven't touched on yet, but again, that's just that's as a cool. huge segment. Yeah, I mean, there's so many people buying those, kind of whether they get over motocross or they're too old for it or they right. just don't want to take the chance of getting hurt that's the next step yeah they're selling those things like crazy and it's like man just consider how much more fun it would be as a family if you can all just talk yeah it uh, it makes it better because you're not wondering oh man i wonder wonder if they're having fun or wonder if they're okay like yeah you know, or if you're the kid in the back and you gotta pee right <laughs> you can't even reach forward and tap dad on the shoulder <laughs> exactly your arms are long enough anyway um, so yeah, go to, go to Senna's website. There's actually some really good stuff in there with Brian and his son Hayden showing them actually how they use it. And Brian talking about what an advantage it's been. Um, yeah, that was, that was a fun day. They, they genuinely, um, you know, had fun and enjoyed using the product out there at Blackmore. Um, you know, and, and it was, uh, it was cool to watch them experience for the first time as well. Right. Mm-hmm. Just like I, just like we did. It was, uh, it was like this aha moment, Yeah. right? You're going, Oh, okay this is this is what we're going to be doing yeah. and you know this is how we're going to get better so yeah i and i don't do a ton of coaching anymore but um the next time that i do whether it's with an individual or whatever this is it i'm just going to ride behind them and i can coach while we're riding yeah in real time i yep. mean the 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 steps we can take in in such a shorter amount of time are going to be crazy so i'm very excited about it um and again send us sort of the the leader in this industry and uh and i'm excited that uh, you guys are part of the show so thank you thanks yeah. for coming on no definitely they uh they're uh looking to support you know all the all the people that are trying to to move this industry forward and trying to do things in the industry to to you know to bring more people in because that's what yeah. it's all about we want we, we want to do this we do it for fun but we're also we want more people in it yeah and and what are we what are the biggest things we want to promote safety and fun and, and this those are adds the two, to both. Those are the two number one yeah. things with the it's, unit. It's a no-brainer. This thing is, uh, is an absolute home run. So get on their website. Find out what works best for you. Uh, if you're not sure, shoot me a message uh, through the channel, uh, through the show, or on our Instagram page at Whiskey Throttle Show. I'll get you directed to the right kind of the right product that you're looking for. Uh, we've done that with a few people already. Because there, you get on there, there are a lot of products, and you might get a little lost. Like, I'm not sure which one I want. What? what does what. So uh, we've helped a few people tell me what your application is, what are you going to be using it for, and we'll steer you in the right direction. So um, thank you so much for coming on. I sure appreciate yeah. it. Thanks Stoked for Stoked to have on. you guys on board, and, and uh, we'll have you on again. Oh, for we'll sure. We'll talk about some new products. Maybe we'll show installing it in a helmet or something like that just yeah. to, uh, you know, kind of show people how easy it is. Um, super, super simple. Uh, pops right into any helmet. Um they have one now for a, a cross-country mountain bike helmet? I know at the time it had to be sort of full face. 
Uh, they have they have a couple different units. Um, but as far as a, a full cross country, I'm not sure. But I mean, yeah. you could just slide it into to any helmet. You sure. Know what I mean, any unit will go into any helmet. Yeah. That's that's the the great part about it. Yeah. Very very versatile. All right. Well, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Yep. Senna Systems. Check them out, and um, you won't be disappointed if you buy one of the things. I promise you'll have. Uh, It'll improve your experience on a motorcycle no matter what you're doing. So check them out. Thanks for watching the Whiskey Throttle Show. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell to get alerts for all the latest content. Follow us on Twitter at W underscore throttle underscore show. And on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram at Whiskey Throttle Show.